Imagine it's the launch day of Diablo 2 Resurrected. You wake up realizing that not only have you been supporting a company that literally makes nothing but mistakes, but more importantly, you've not planned your first character for the re-release. Maybe you're the kind of person who likes to take things slowly, you know, enjoy your character progression, even if it's more challenging or maybe more tedious. Or maybe you're the player who enjoys destroying the competition, moving with greater speed and efficiency than your contemporaries. Or maybe you're just looking for sick-ass loot and what class you're going to play doesn't really matter and you're just wanting to look at your MFing MF. Regardless of your taste, you want to pick the best class in Diablo 2. So in order to determine that, I'm going to be doing seven of these, one for each of the aforementioned classes in the game. First on the chopping block is Barbarian, because it's the most Chad class. Not even remotely what I'd consider the best one though, so, you know, spoiler alert. I think Barbarian is probably what most new players gravitate to, since it's just dead center, and you know, it looks like someone you'd want to have with you if you're fighting the devil. This series is going to be a deep dive into the strengths of the class, designed to maybe help along people who haven't played the game in a long time, or just looking to be picking it up for the first time. I'm going to go over some raw and boring Wikipedia looked up statistics, but I'm going to whip it together so you can be remotely interested. So in general this will be a vaguely comprehensive guide to general statistics and builds suitable for PVM content, including ubers and, you know, gloams. Finally we'll talk about the gearing process and how difficult it is. I'll also be mentioning hardcore variations of playing the class, since that makes for a unique, pun intended, experience of playing the game. The Barbarian is probably, maybe, the best melee class in Diablo 2. At least that's probably what the game developers most likely wanted, but there's some competition on that front. At the very least, Barbarians get a very sizable HP pool and is the only character that can use a two-handed weapon in one hand. Upon level up, the Barbarian enjoys two HP, one stamina, and one mana. Almost all useless. That's where the attribute points really come into play, however. Barbarians get an enormous plus four to HP per point in vitality, as well as one stamina, which, you know, doesn't matter that much, but hey, everything helps. Energy gives them an abysmal plus one to mana, so to any of the caster aspiring barbarian players, just know that energy is even more useless than it normally is. The barbarian has a wide, and by wide I mean pretty narrow, method of attack. You have the already mentioned great potential to whack things with big swords and hammers, but you have a few longer range abilities in the form of shouts. These provide buffs, debuffs, or deal straight damage, and as a general understanding of barb, you will dabble in all of these trees in order to power yourself up. For example, shouts give you more HP or help with finding items. Melee abilities are your bread and butter, of course, and finally, Barbarian is one of the only classes with a really good passive tree, which gives you a lot of freedom with how you stat your character. But let me talk a little bit about specific builds in case you're having trouble deciding on what way you want to hit things with Big Hammer. Funnily enough, Barb has some of the most straightforward skill building in the game. You can pretty much just pick a skill, see what complements that skill, and then you've got your build pretty much solved. You can then spec into the mastery tree as much as you want and however you want. If you lack in something, chances are you'll be able to improve it. Before I mention a few good builds to try out, here's something that will remain mostly consistent when building your character. Get resistances. You're going to be spending all day in the face of, like, Bale, so you need to have the ability to not die. Stupid spellcasters not having to give nearly as much of a shit about this. Anyway, get your defenses up. Barbarians have little issue with this since their skill trees and natural skill progression help the player be more defensive. Your offense game as a Barbarian is annoying. If you don't pay attention to your supplemental damage stats, namely Crushing Blow, you're going to have two pool noodles to slap things with. Or maybe just one really big pool noodle. Pay attention to things that cause effects like bleeds, poisons, damage modifiers, Crushing Blow, Might Aura. There's a lot of items in Diablo 2 that will aid with this. If you build a character with no extra stuff, like I said, you'll be standing there for a long time. Which is preferable to being dead and doing no damage, but I digress. Here's some build ideas. Whirlwind, a level 30 skill, is probably the coolest skill found in the game. You can take both weapons and just, you know, spin. That's the extent of the playstyle, thanks for watching. Allowing the Barbarian to skim through crowds of enemies, it's almost synonymous with the class. Unfortunately, while it was, once upon a time, one of the best builds in the game, Whirlwind Barbs will most definitely find it hard to completely butcher screens nowadays. But with a lot, and I mean a lot of gear, you'll be very competent when taking on anything. I find that defense falls a little short with this skill since you kinda need to not give a shit about being in the middle of everything. Also, you can't use potions mid-spin, which is a hindrance, so plan things carefully. Overall, the game plan is buff yourself up with HP and then uh, walk in. Spin for a while, have fun. Good game. Actually, while going over the builds I'm going to mention, I'm just realizing how similar everything in Barbarian is. 
For example, take Frenzy Bar, a build that uses Frenzy as the dominant skill. Wow. This skill draws on the strength of both your weapons, and as such, you must be dual wielding to use it. So once again, pick your weapon type, uh, get two good ones, and then spec into the correct stuff. I have a bit of a bone to pick with this build, though. I actually went built like the best possible Frenzy Barbarian that I could with stuff I've accumulated on Pluggy after years of playing. And you know what? Outside of the really, and I mean really fast run speeds, which are a ton of fun, and the fact that I was fairly tanky, able to just eat Stygian doll explosions and face tank whatever boss I wanted, I felt weak. And I mean, like, I've put a lot of runes into this build. Unlike Whirlwind, this build is very much stand in place and just hold down your frenzy button. And while this build is good, with me putting a very big question mark after that, I don't think it's quite worth the investment. But, if you're interested in dealing incredibly massive damage and not standing anywhere for any amount of time, I recommend the Berserker build. Similar to every enemy you're going to come across, you're probably going to die, unless you start using a shield. Or you just howl at things, I mean, there's a few choices here actually. Berserk converts your damage into a magical type, allowing you to bonk mostly everything in the entire game. It deals massive damage, but also reduces all of your defense to nothing. But, zero defense doesn't matter if A, the enemy is dead, or B, you simply avoid all the damage to begin with. Using Howl, you can push everything away except bosses so they don't bother with you. This gives you a chance to bop a few of them before they are no longer feared and, you know, swiftly decimate you. If you opt for a shield approach, you'll have the potential to still derive all shield-related defensive benefits, namely blocking. Singer Barb, which is actually probably the stupidest build in the game, but it's a lot of fun. War Cry is an AoE damage dealing effect where everything within its radius takes a somewhat mediocre amount of damage. But, far more interestingly, is that it stuns everything it hits. With the exception of bosses and unique monsters and anything besides trash mobs, but hey, you know, whatever. With super high cast rate, you can spam this to insane effect, but your poor barbarian mana pool is going to be taxed. Even with insight on a merc, enjoy chugging potions in order to keep screaming enemies to death. As an added bonus, you might as well pick up item find as a skill. This lets you continue to scream at the now dead enemies, scaring them into giving you an extra drop. For unique monsters, this skill is invaluable. It effectively doubles the amount of drops you get, which is incredible for magic find. And actually, this discussion about magic find leads me to the final build I'll mention, being the Pit Zerker or the Pindle Zerker or the whatever you want to Zerk Berserker is a barbarian build that is terrible at everything except magic finding. Magic Find is usually something left to casters. Melee has trouble with doing that because managing to kill anything and having Magic Find is, you know, an oxymoron. But it's possible that Barbarian possesses the greatest Magic Find build in the entire game, which offers the most density of rare item chances. Like I said previously, you can use Find Item to get another chance at a loot roll. If you succeed, the game will drop another set of items. This doesn't work on bosses, mind you, but on uniques and even better, super uniques, you will get another rare drop or two. So here's how this works. Using the Enigma that you're sure to have, definitely, teleport near a unique pack. Using Howl, we'll fear all the monsters besides the loot pinata. Blow them up using Berserk and preferably a Grief or something, while having a Phase Blade with six Ist runes as an offhand. The enemy dies and doesn't drop anything, but with the click of a button you've now turned his crap drop into two crap drops. Repeat infinitely long until you complete the Diablo II Holy Grail. It is very, very good. But, this seems like a pretty good time to move into the next section where I will discuss just how not easy this class is to gear. Barbarian requires an almost nuts amount of everything to be good. And yes, you can be more budget here and there, of course, I've read the same guides. You don't need to clear everything in 20 seconds, but there is a lot of feeling like, boy, I wish I could just shoot Blizzard one time and kill this whole pack while playing Barbarian. At its best, you're gonna feel great, but uh, to gear up, you're gonna need runes. <laughs> a lot of runes. And then lots of good uniques, and then lots of good set items, and then lots of good rares, and then lots of good crafted items, and fuck. Every bar build is heavily transformed by how much currency it costs. Drop a lot of SOJs and form gold and or spend days looking for all sorts of things and you will really enjoy your time with the class. Otherwise, and I'm just being honest, this gets painful. You spend forever just whacking at things, or just screaming, of course. I wish it was more positive news, but I really think if you're new, Barbarian is complicated to start with. It's more technical than it lets on, especially if you're thinking about doing the PvP side of things. Uh, there's a lot of counterplay available depending on the matchups. And even if you're thinking about PvP, the currency barrier is probably even worse. Beyond runes and uniques, you benefit greatly from nuts rare or crafted gear. A 100% optimized, perfect barbarian build may be the most expensive and hard thing to create in the game. That has a lot of competition, but we'll get there, you know, six more of these. Here's my brief hardcore section, just because it is simple to discuss. Barb is a hard character to play in hardcore. The early game will be extremely dangerous, farming for gear 
you know, to get better is even more difficult, you can do it. And you're an Omega Chad if you do. In a lot of ways, it's fun playing an uphill battle, using your abilities creatively to make it through, using shouts will mitigate a lot of threats, and I wouldn't call Barbarian the hardest class in hardcore. You have the advantage of being able to kill most enemies without worrying about resistances. I say if you're bold, give it a chance, you might have a lot of fun. I wouldn't recommend Singer Barb. Well, that's that. I hope you got some information uh, you didn't know, or maybe you're closer to making a decision about what your first class will be when D2R drops later this year. Anyway, thanks for watching. It has really meant a lot to me seeing all the support on my videos. I will continue to do my best, uh, so you may enjoy this with your breakfast or some shit. I don't know. Whatever you're doing. Anyway, you've been here with Seer, and I'll see you in the next one.